Very interesting. I, I want to dig a little deeper when it comes yeah. to building trust. And if you guys can help us understand, like pure execution, product design thinking. Uh, say for example, Dunzo or Swiggy Genie. If I'm sending something, hmm. which is a very high value item for me. Uh, during that touch point, in that entire experience of me booking this particular guy who would pick up my item, how do I make sure as a product designer right. that my customer knows that this item is going to safely reach to point B? Hmm. Hmm. So it's also about not over promising also. Sometimes the hmm. best way to get trust Correct. is to be sure. honest. Uh, right? I think that's the first step. So in Dunzo's case, uh, we, we started the whole business as like a pick up and drop, we call it PNB. Right? So there there are certain legal clause which, which is out there and we didn't want it users to figure this out later when something goes wrong. Uh, right? So we are not really liable for something getting lost like True. if some, somebody uh, chase the partner and take the item and uh, run away, we are not really responsible right. for that. And this always bothered us in in the beginning because you know we are not really advertising that anywhere and we don't we can't also but at least on the product or during the track out of time we started giving this information that hey this is what it is this mm. could happen we are not saying that this is full safe you know this could happen if this has happens we will comply with the case and we will be providing this information about the partner and everything so when we started saying that uh, i really don't have the full insight on this but our intention was okay at least people knows that this is what it is i think Danzo right. that did that beautifully right you guys eliminated uncertain uncertainty mm -hmm. from the entire chain of huh. from the product that got picked up it's on the way right now it is mm. pro and right. do, also did it delightfully <laughs> i think one of the one of my biggest learnings is to eliminate uncertainty mm -hmm. I'll just give you an example from just airlines, right? When a flight is delayed, it is it causes frustration, right? Yeah. Now the f the airlines can add four more flights or solve the supply chain, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Or you can just simply be very clear that it is delayed by one full day. It is delayed by seventy minutes. Just reduces hmm. frustration, and you know, and you actually just hold to your word. You said that if one delay will happen, then delay will happen. Having very honest communication mm. and ensuring that when do, don't leave user thinking. If you keep ambiguity in your, I don't know whose house am I entering, right? You've just given me somebody's name. You've just left me ambiguous. You've told me that product I got, mm. you haven't told me anything. Mm. You've left me ambiguous. All of these are just strong signals of, I don't know. And I don't know is, is mistrust. But if you say everything, you know ki user ko is waqt, this information should You give that in information fully. Yeah. yeah. You've got a much stronger trust. Yeah. yeah. That's this feeling of trust. What? Yeah, exactly. So I think, so come to think of it, transparency actually builds yeah. a lot of trust. Yeah. 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 Right? Um, like, you know, I think some of the ways that we built uh, the trust in Swiggy is we never used to show um, location very prominently. In 2016-17 right. is when we realized that People have confusion in terms of which location am I even ordering from, right? Like you, you mean know, like which geo they are? Which geo are okay. they ordering? Where's your from? pin? Like right? If I'm ordering from Whitefield, yeah, Mine Street from or Gordon? something like that. So basically, when we started showing prominently that this is your location, mm -hmm. we've got your location. We've got even it right. splash screen. Yeah, splash yeah. screen, which basically <laughs> says that this is the location we've yeah, got you. Yeah, Same yeah. when you land on it, right? Saying that okay, there's a feeling of familiarity, right? Mm. Which is popular brands that you order from, right? There are great restaurants nearby, like mm. brands like. For example, we had to piggyback on uh, Domino's, McD, and a couple of other local favorites to make sure that it ensures that the food is coming from the right place, right? Like, you know, there's so many, so many barriers, but transparency is an important barrier Absolutely. to cross in terms of how do you flag, right? Like, you know, that authentic products, authentic uh, services are available here. That's a very important part of the, you know, the, of the UX. Yeah. And pretty much along the way also, right? Like, you know, there are other things, which is community ratings and other things also play a big role. I'll tell you a short story about this, right? Like, you know, we had uh, we had a ratings. We knew that ratings was somewhat affecting, um, you know, con consumer choices. But we were always very apologetic about how we calculated ratings. Um, you know, and we were thinking, okay, not many people look at ratings. Uh, fine, there are some people who look at for validation, right? Like, you know, and most of our restaurants were just, uh, pretty much rated at like you know 4.2, 4.3, etc., which people clearly didn't agree to, 
right like you know and that eroded trust very very fast yeah. where ratings was used for building trust in transactions yeah. that actually rewards when people started sensing that uh, this ratings doesn't feel authentic enough mm. so when we actually did the three months count right and we said that okay last three months what is the cx that this restaurant has provided and when we actually reworked on some of these ratings and we started displaying that to the consumer by saying hey now we have revamped our ratings logic mm. and it is a lot more uh, you know recent yeah. right like whereas yeah. being historical is how swiggy ratings has worked which is why some restaurants were 4.2 4.5 but we have corrected that now yeah it is more recent and if a restaurant has made uh, you know, it, it has had some issues with maybe Swiggy customers or generally in the past three months, then the rating is now shifted to this. Mm. When we did that, suddenly the trust from the platform went up, mm. right? Like, you know, so that is also very important being transformed by saying, okay, we, yes. we stood it yeah. up, right? Like, you know, yeah. I think there are some places where we made this change, right? Like now you can trust this is a yeah. very clear signaling for consumers to make a choice.